They trying to play with Saquon and I don't like it at all. Let's get into this. What's up? You too, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Jahi back with another video. And today, we talking football, man. We talking football. So, if you do not know, Daniel Jones just had a contract extension. And yes, we talking Giants first because that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? The Giants are the best team in football. Obviously, on the road to a Super Bowl 58. Lombardi Trophy. I hope you are ready. Daniel Jones just signed a. Let me get the numbers for you real quick. Daniel Jones signed a hundred and sixty million dollar four-year deal, eighty-two million guaranteed. That's good money, and thirty-five in his incentives. I like I like Daniel Jones enough. He did pretty good this season. I think he proved to us what he really can be. I think with a uh, still improving line, and uh, maybe receivers who can catch or like get to space you know really be able to use his arm like i know he wants to do we gonna have the greatest giants team of all time you understand me the g-man come on now big blue is gonna be back i'm listen bro i'm telling you this this season is our season we just came off a ridiculous season we got the best coach in the nfl we got the best coach in the nfl we do not who is andy reed who, who are these people bro we got Brian Dable, remember the name, bro. Going down. Let me calm down. Listen, because it, it gets a little worse. Saquon Barkley may not get paid, and I don't know if we're going to keep him. I'm scared. I love Saquon Barkley. Another reason that he's just another one of those guys you, you grow to love, and you just you have to love him. You don't even grow to love him. You just love Saquon from the start, because who doesn't like Saquon? He don't talk no trash. He came into the league, best running back in the league immediately i'm talking like oh my god if injury didn't riddle his career and he still came back just almost as good still top five running backs is he i think he really could have been the best running back if he played more i think they just really tried to keep him healthy didn't want to test it too much and they still had a great a great season they had a better season than they expected with a partial saquon just remember that just remember that so what so what do we have in store for 2023 football season 2024 you know who's winning the nfc east oh my god i wish i had my old giants hat bro my old giants oh my giants i'm about to just give me a giants pose to put it right there give me up it's got to be a victor cruz jersey it's got to be it's got to be it's nothing better than okay but that's it you giants uh we need we need Saquon. Go ahead and give him whatever he wants. He deserves it. I know we all believe running backs don't last that long. They got five year primes. After that, they, don't put your money into a running back. I don't care. He did a lot for this, and we done we done tore him up. We done tore his legs up three years in a row, bro. That's that's so sad. It was the, maybe it was two. I don't know. He got injured at least twice though. We need to get that man his money. He deserves it. He deserves it. I mean, if not, go get, let him go somewhere else. I, just so he can get get right, bro. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep Saquon. That's my guy. That's the best running back in the league. Also, Lamar Jackson was franchise tagged. Lamar Jackson, who one of my favorite quarterbacks, really of this era. I knew he was gonna be good since he came into the league. He had a lot of a lot of doubters. Even the people drafting him doubted. He won a he won a Heisman, and he got drafted as late as he did. It's outrageous, you know. Some of the minds of those people up there, we. Are. Pay attention. If you see it, you see it. It's not meant for everybody to understand. But, yeah. Lamar Jackson's franchise tag, I think he's going to go somewhere else. I don't think he has too much reason to stay in Baltimore, especially if things won't change. He's kind of just been there. After his MVP year, next year was decent. This year was kind of just, just... I didn't even watch the Ravens this year, honestly. But I just know they didn't do much. I just hadn't heard about them too much. I know they kind of just didn't improve. There hasn't been a lot of improvement. Then they lost they, they Hollywood. That was their guy. They, do they even still have Mark Andrews? I feel like they don't. Okay, they do still have Mark Andrews. So at least they just got him. But that's not enough. That's not all you need. You need a team. Not one guy to throw the ball to. You need a line to. You need everything. Treat, treat Lamar Jackson how you treat 
Patrick Mahomes, how you treat Josh Allen. Give him a team, players to make him look better and to show that he has skill beyond running because I know he can throw the ball. Just give him somebody to throw it to. Give him a line to protect him so he don't got to run and scramble every time he gets in that pocket. But yeah, you know what? Lamar Jackson, do what you got to do. But the Ravens really missing out. You really about to give up on a on one of your best quarterbacks you've had. I'd say he's been your best quarterback in a long time. Obviously. Obviously. When was the last time a Ravens quarterback or player won MVP? I guess if this decision they think is best for them, I'd yay. Hey, do what y'all got to do. I'm not a Ravens fan. My brother, you know, you might see this. I hope y'all make the right choice. Oh, and Geno Smith signed a three-year, $105 million contract extension. That's crazy to me. They just overpaid that man out the world. Bro, they didn't win anything. I mean, like they did. They did way better than we expected. We expected them to be terrible, and they weren't. And Geno Smith was decent, but that's a lot of money. The NFL really just got money to spend, bro. And when you're the Seahawks and you ain't got nobody to pay, I guess you give it to your quarterback. I guess that makes sense, but he should not be getting that much money. Bro, was not in the league a few years ago. It's crazy how this world works. It really is. Also, yeah, there's been talks about Aaron Rodgers, but him in a trade with the Jets. I don't know. Like, they just had the two best rookies in the NFL this season. One's a receiver and one's a corner. Now... So Sauce is actually going to be tremendous. He already is, but he's really about to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? So, but then you give Garrett Wilson. So you're giving Garrett Wilson, right? Offensive rookie of the year. All-time great football player and quarterback. Arguably one of the best arms you've ever seen. Patrick Mahomes is better. But arguably one of the best arms we've ever seen. Could be dangerous. Could be dangerous. You about to give the Jets who already got a great receiver, a vet quarterback like this. Could get a little freaky out there in New York. We gonna see what happens. I think it's a possibility, I do. It could be real nice out there. It could. That could be a team that could do something. I don't even remember the conference they in. But yeah, they could probably win their conference. I don't know how good their conference is, but why don't I just look it up? Let's look at the AFC East. They're not beating the Bills. Not gonna there be better than the Patriots, and so the Bills are the best in this conference, obviously, without a doubt. The Dolphins would be a second, but we're gonna have to see how they do this year. And they can be better than the Patriots, especially with Aaron Rodgers. Honestly, with Aaron Rodgers, I think they'll be the number two. And if they really, 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 and I mean, really work on it, it could be close if they make some more moves. If if this Aaron Rodgers trade happens. They have to make more moves. I know they got money to spend. They probably got money to get that whole world. They got a chance. They got a chance. We're going to see. We're going to see what happens. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like, press that subscribe button, and that notification bell. Give me some of your ideas down below. It's your boy, Jahi, and I'm out.